Welcome back to character modeling. We completed blocking out the palm of the hand, the wrist, and the first finger, along with the fingernail. I'm going to go ahead and combine the finger and the fingernail together. I want to leave these two as separate objects, as opposed to coming under polygons and mesh and combining them. I want to leave them separate because I'm going to use a different material on the nail than I do the hand. Uh, the nail is just going to have a procedural texture on it, whereas the hand is going to be taken into mud box and painted. So I want to make sure these remain separate, but they need to be grouped together so we can duplicate them and position them across the hand here and shape them. So Control G groups them together and we'll just call this finger index. Okay, and the pivot is down here. I'm going to go ahead and center the pivot on here, and then I'm going to move that pivot down here to the base of the finger. So with insert on, I'm just going to drag it down here and hit insert again, and you'll see why here in a moment. So first thing, we're going to go ahead and duplicate this while it is detached from the hand. So control D will duplicate the group. And we'll rename that in just a moment. I'm just going to pull it off to the side here. And with this group selected, I'm going to angle the finger out. If we place all the fingers in a row here and attach them, they're actually going to start intersecting one another. And that's going to cause problems later on, uh, especially for rigging and painting weights. So we're going to kind of fan the fingers out a little bit. So I'm going to hit E on the keyboard and rotate that finger out. And you can see why we have the pivot point down here now. That makes it a lot easier. So I've got that one at uh, about a negative nine. We'll just round that off. Okay. And then I'm going to grab this group down here and duplicate it and slide that entire group over here. This is gonna be our middle finger and we're going to need to scale this up a little bit. So we'll just scale it up a little bit overall and then scale it in length. Just slightly. Okay. And this one, we can go ahead and just leave that straight. And then we're going to come back here to this group, the initial one that I copied over and control D, duplicate that over again. Bring that over here. And this is going to have to get scaled down. So we'll scale that down. Make that a little bit smaller. And you can see things are already starting to get a little crammed in here. We're going to have to kind of come here and adjust some of uh, the base of the finger here, the size of that. And let's go ahead and angle this one out now. Okay, about like that. And we'll just duplicate this one, since we've got it close to position here. And we'll move that over. This is going to be the pinky finger, so this needs to get scaled down quite a bit. There we go. And we see, you can see we're running off the, the edge here. So we can widen up the hand a little bit to accommodate for that. Rotate this out, and we need to slide it over a little bit as well. And the hand actually curves here at the top, so we're going to make some adjustments to how this kind of fans out. But this is going to get brought down a little bit, and it looks like I scaled it down just a little too much. So we'll scale that back up. And this finger, let's make sure we're grabbing the group, can get brought down as well. And this one can come out a little bit. It's probably got scaled up just a little too much. There we go. And I'm actually going to scale this one down just a little bit as well. Okay. So we've got our fingers fanned out now in the way we want them. And I'm just kind of checking things across the top here. So they're pretty flat across the top, which is good for rigging. And let's come here and shape palm of our hand now. So we'll grab some of the vertices and let's make sure we're 
grabbing the same top and bottom and we're going to kind of bring those out as well as these and we're going to take all of these and kind of shift them back a little bit so creating that angle there and we can scale these down a little bit as well okay and we're going to look at the base of this finger here it feels a little large but we're all we can probably just scale it down so let's make sure we're grabbing the group you can arrow up to grab the group and bring that down just a little bit and this line here needs to come over and meet up with the pinky finger so let's grab these points here top and bottom and push them over so that becomes part of the pinky this as well here too so you can see that kind of running down the side here now for the pinky and we're going to do the same thing here we'll pull these over right about there and then deselect these here in the middle of the palm and then run these over to about here and we'll kind of come back and fine-tune this in a little bit okay so this is sort of the center of our hand and it's going to get pushed over now making sure we're grabbing all the same points actually I'm going to deselect these Go ahead and move that over. Deselect these points as well as that. Slide that over just a little bit more. Okay. And move those over. This one as well. Okay, so those are starting to line up now, and we could probably scale down the base of this finger right here. So I'm just grabbing a loop on there, and I'm going to scale it down just a little bit here. You can do the same thing with all of these, just create a little bit more room. There we go. go okay and we can angle the vertices back here let's pull them back a little bit there we go okay so let's go ahead and turn this group off here off the visibility let's name our groups here so we've got finger index drag this one up here and we've got finger middle finger ring and finger pinky So now what we can do is combine these because we're going to attach them to the palm. So let's go ahead and select all of these. Shift select the hand and come under mesh and combine. Okay, so now we have one mesh and we're going to start merging these vertices. So we can go ahead and close this down for right now and I'm going to go to vertex. And it looks like I must have dropped in uh, an offset edge loop going around here on all my fingers. So I'm just going to real quickly go around here and delete these. Uh, they're not supposed to be here. If you were following along with me and did the same thing, uh, just make sure you go ahead and delete those. You can see we've got too much 
resolution now to line up with our our palm. So make sure you delete them with the vertices. There we go. That feels a lot better now. Okay, so let's go ahead and start merging these. And what I'm going to do, since I have the fingers kind of angled the way I want them, I'm going to move the vertices on the palm and snap them to the vertices on the finger. So I'm going to hold down the V key, just snap that. Okay, we'll just work our way around here and then we'll have to merge them. And we won't have one for the middle yet because that's going to be uh, merged with the other finger. So there we go. Grabbing all of those. And let's go ahead and merge these. That's our last one right there. So if you hit three on the keyboard, you can kind of see how that's looking. It's coming together quite nice. However, if we begin merging these points together, uh, our fingers are going to kind of run in together and, and look a little uh, mushy, and they're not going to deform well for animation. So what they need is an edge loop in here. So we're going to go ahead and drop in an edge loop fairly close right here. Okay. And go ahead and drop one down the rest of these. Get those in place. And with those in place now, we can snap the other vertices. So this one snaps to here in the center. So I'm just going to hold that and snap that into place. And you can see we've got quite a, a large gap right here. And that's okay. We're actually going to take these two and just go ahead and merge them. And you can see that kind of meeting halfway there, creating that point. Okay, and we've got these two right here that we're going to merge. As well as these two right here. Okay. And we could widen up a couple of these areas right here if we need to. Just create a little bit more space between our fingers. Okay, so let's continue kind of merging these and moving them into place. So W on the keyboard, holding down the V key. I'm going to snap these to position. Same thing here. Okay. Snapping this one to the center of that finger, our ring finger. So we've got it on the top. Let's grab the side. Okay. Couple more left here. All right. So let's go around and merge these now. bottom side. And our last couple right here. Okay, so let's hit three on the keyboard, make sure we got everything. And we're missing these two right here. So let's go back to one on the keyboard, and merge these. Okay. I think that was it. Let's just check one more time. 
Okay, so let's go back to one on the keyboard. And we can merge these two here on the bottom. And here in the middle. As well as here on the top. And that'll close that hole up. Okay, and we'll do the same thing down here. So selecting this one, the one over here at the finger, merging those. These two here on the inside. And then our last one down here on the bottom. Okay, and then if you want to widen up these areas right here, you can do that a little bit. Create a little bit more of a gap. There you go. All right. So back to object mode, three on the keyboard. We have our fingers attached now. Okay, so in the next lesson, we're going to start shaping the top of the hand, putting in some knuckles, and then working on our thumb. And we'll get to that in the next lesson.